church planning in the inner city, um, question you need to ask is uh, when you come into the city for wherever you live, um, the smell, the sounds, you see people that are hurting or struggling or panhandling or prostitutes, does your heart break? God loves the city and her people. Very clear throughout scripture, God loves those that live in the city. But Nineveh has more than 120,000 people who cannot tell their right hand from their left and many cattle as well. Should I, the Lord is saying to Jonah, not be concerned about that great city. And that was a city that was lost until God brought Jonah. Are you a Christian that knows that God is calling you somehow, somewhere to share the love of Jesus Christ? And my challenge to you is, is it the city where the broken and the oppressed and those that are hurting come? Used to be outside the city in Jesus' day, but now in our cities, the broken come there. Servant leaders, we operate as a team. I can't emphasize the days of the Lone Ranger church planter or the rector who starts a church and it's his ministry. I pray to God ends. We need to change the way we plant churches and the way we operate churches. Once churches are received into diocese, you know, and the church planner may, may uh, move on and the next generation of, of rectors um, uh, moves into the church, we, we've got to make sure we leave a lasting DNA that it's about a team, it's about your family, about everybody doing the ministry together. We love the poor and the broken because 22 years ago we were homeless in Denver, Colorado for eight weeks. A year of hell, eight weeks. God broke our heart for the poor. We never thought we'd ever be ministering to the homeless, but God has broken our heart and we love the poor with all our heart.